Student Libby Squire disappeared during a night out in Hull in January 2019. Her body was found seven weeks later in the Humber estuary. Harwell Relevich denied killing her, but the evidence was compelling. He'd followed her, he'd raped her, somehow he'd killed her. He's now serving a 27-year sentence for Libby's murder. But her mother, Lisa, wants to know more, and she's requested to meet him. We don't know how she died. There are lots of questions I have still, like, you know, whereabouts was she put in the river? At what part of the, the, the field did you put her into the river? Really, you know, sinister questions, I suppose. Did you put her in head first or feet first? Was she crying? Was she cold? All these different questions that I have going around my head 24-7, and he is the only person that could answer them. And he has agreed to meet you? In principle, yes, yeah. I mean, he's obviously a compulsive liar. Oh, it has to as be, As well he? as a monster. Yeah. And yeah. so you don't know whether he's going to play with you yeah. and manipulate you, and certainly whether he'll ever tell you the truth. So yeah. I'm just wondering whether you really, what you really gain from it. I need to do it for me, and I don't, I've never met him, I've never been in the same space as the person who was last with my daughter, and that for me is really important. You are under arrest for the murder and rape of Libby Squire. A new Sky documentary reveals new footage of Relevich smirking as he's told by police he is suspected of murder. That to me wasn't, I didn't take it as he was mocking or, you know, laughing at the situation. To me, that was very much like, oh God, I've been caught. You know, it was like, a, almost like a nervous laugh. You're laughing in there. The killer also seems to smirk through police interviews. Why are you smirking? Lisa knows he's never shown any remorse nor admitted guilt. He's still claiming he's innocent. Yeah, but he didn't but stand up in court. But he's not going to tell you what happened. No, but I mean, he won't, he's not going to tell me exactly what happened, I know that. He won't tell me now, he might tell me in a few years. And, and I'm, I'm not naive enough to think he's going to say, oh, I did this and she died. But I hope one day she will, because it's really hard not knowing how your child died. In grief, Lisa just wants truth and knows she may never get it, but she's determined to try. Jason Farrell, Sky News.